What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are out here at the Omni Homestead, the Cascades course. This place is absolutely pure. This is the fourth and final episode from here in Virginia from the 36 hole stroke play tournament between me and Scotty. I'm currently at five under for the first 27 holes and Scotty is at three under. So I've got a two stroke lead, nine holes remaining, the back nine at the Cascades, this is the course that Sam Snead grew up caddying on, practicing. We're going into number 10 here, par four, 382. Look, that was a brutal, brutal third episode. Given the wind's blowing like 25, it's a course we've never seen and it's tough. an iron off the tee but i did hit that one well look it may not be time to press but we're going with the big stick downwind come on let it eat. well he did hit that well if it misses it missed the tree dude i don't know you got over the trees i tried i tried Dude, you hit that really well if that's the ball up there right it looks like it's glistening just short it's of the green be. that would be quite the drive I am right here, really not in too bad a shape. Can't really see the pin. So I've got 115 here. Still don't mind the play with the iron, but knowing if that is Scotty's ball and having all that room right, I would probably hit driver here every single time. Got a little sandwich here. Should just be kind of a smooth one. Try to fight it down, but I think the wind is helping here. Walking up here, is this his ball? Uh, one thousand percent. Dude, great drive. Thank you. That's that's a special drive right there. You can hear the wind. Oh, he almost dunked it. Dude, good shot. It was just a complete misread. It's a good speed though. Come on. Thanks. Dude, what a putt. Thank you. Dude, that drive, that chip, and that putt was the best thing you've done all day. That was the best was thing awesome. that could happen. Go ahead and open this episode up with a pins. Dude. Thank Good you. bird. Thank you. Love My voice to see is it. gone. I'm sorry. What an awesome par three here. 195, maybe slightly down the hill, wind off the right and hurting. What are you going yep. with? I'm going with the four iron. You try to flight her down, you know. Land her short, let her run. Needs to draw just a little bit. He needs the help from the wind. I feel like the wind's kind of shifted. I'm hitting a six. We'll see where this ends up. Oh no. Kick right. This wind is whipping right now. That's just off the green on the left. It does look like it's an okay place to chip from. I got fooled there. Thought the wind was doing something that wasn't, and uh, hit it in the water. Scotty's gonna be taking a drop here, playing his third shot. It looked like it probably bounced in somewhere like on this line, so anywhere in there is good. All right, All right that ball is in place, sir. Gotta get her up and down. This is another really good chip shot right there. I know it rolled out a little bit, but that was pretty good from there. Good bud. It 
It felt as good as I was gonna hit it into a 40 mile an hour wind. <laughs> Okay. Keep coming. Scotty's having to climb up the slope right there. That was the driver we were looking for right there. I've got 203 into, it's about 50 miles an hour. I'm gonna try to flight this pretty low and hit a four iron. I think it's playing two clubs, maybe two and a half. I think it's in that bunker just short left. That was playing so long. I mean, that would have barely gotten there, I think. And I hit that low. 133, I don't know if it's gonna fly or not. I don't know if the wind's gonna gust to 50 again. I'm gonna go a little chippy seven. Settle, settle. It is one of the more difficult rounds of golf that I've played in a long time. 446, par four, dog leg to the left, some bunkering out there as well, and a creek runs all the way down. It is driver, I do believe. I think with the wind, should be like right to left hard. So take it kind of at that right bunker. Wow, we both played for it to turn and we hit it almost in the exact same place. It hit the tree pretty hard, kicked almost over to another hole here. I've got a little gap there, 182. Obviously gonna have to play it low, and get it trundling. Scotty's a few yards in front, right over there, probably about one, it's 75 or so. He's gonna have to play it low as well. We've got our work cut out for us. This is a true test of golf right now. Needs to settle. Apparently this is a very, very difficult pen. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, that's a double right there. We are grinding right now and we're getting our tails kicked. 471 yard par four here, 
dead into the wind. Straight as straight can be, 471. What you see is what you get. Tear high, let it fly. Dude, let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. I We've know. gotten beaten up by the wind we this have. course. I really do genuinely like this course, but it has played yeah. very tough today. The course is amazing, and you almost want it harder, you know? You really? You don't want it to be, like, too easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I thought you meant harder than it's playing today. No. I was going to be like, ah, no. I'll take it a little easier. I'm trying to break 90 at this point. <laughs> Best drive of the day right there, down the left side. That's gonna be left in those trees. I don't think it quite reached that next group of trees, but we'll have to see. All right, I've got 203. Scotty pounded his, he's in perfect shape. I've gotta play a wrap draw around there against the wind. Probably gonna go with the five iron and try to sling it. We've got 165 and I don't know what the wind's doing. I think it might be helping a little because that means that's a 310 drive. So it's gotta be helping, definitely not hurting. I'm gonna go with the eight iron and just send her. That looks really good. That was well played. Those last two holes were an adventure for me. This might be one of the craziest part threes I've ever seen. Huge trees right and left, pin all the way back right, 237 yards straight into the wind. I've got four wood. better than that. It might be just a fraction long, but it's just a little right. Hold that. It's gonna be a little right. All in all, straight into the wind from 237, we would take either one of these pretty much all day long. Not yep. easy chips though. Scotty's about pin high right there, and I'm just over there just a little long, but both about, what, 35 feet from the hole? Yeah, not too bad. That's borderline impossible. That was an unreal par by Scotty on that hole. That hole is playing so difficult. I felt like a four almost felt like a par. However, Scotty remains at seven over and I move to five over par. This has been tough. This is one of the most difficult rounds of golf that I've ever played. Absolutely love the course, just playing very, very difficult. We've got three holes remaining, two par fives and a par three. 
see if we can finish strong. Number 16, par five. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to go for this. It's right back into the wind, 270 roughly. I've got a seven iron. That's probably the best swing of the day right there. <laughs> I've got 97. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what the wind's doing right now. It is kind of swirling. So I'm gonna flight down a sand wedge and just try to not have the wind affect it as much as I can. So let's flight it down. I wish I could say I didn't hit that great. <laughs> I actually kind of hit that all right. Uh, wind pushed a pretty good right. I think it's close to pin high. We got a putt. Settle. Not bad pace. Great putt, dude. Look at that. Y'all have no idea how good that feels right now. After that last stretch, to make a putt like that, that just makes lunch taste all that much better. Let's go. Dude, great putt. That par <laughs> feels almost as good as Zach's. Bless the screen, hole 16. This pin slammer almost feels like a camera dropper just because of how difficult this course is playing right now. Boom. That feels so good. Number 17, back-to-back -back par fives here. 518, big sweeping dog leg to the left. I do think that this wind should be straight from right to left. So if you can hit something straight, wind should kind of drift it to the left. You do want to kind of play it on that corner. Want to thank the Cascades for having us out, the Omni Homestead as well. This has been incredible. They've got two immaculate courses here. Dude, I think that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Got to kick the little right. Might have clipped the branch, mm -hmm. but did find the fairway 238. And this is a pretty sweet approach shot here. Go with the hybrid. Come on, fall a little left. Dude, what a shot. What a shot. Dude, I think it's like five feet. That was a crazy good shot by Scotty there. I think he's five feet. It sure does look like it. I've got 190 here. Wind might be helping. I'm just gonna hit a smooth little seven iron here. Scotty in there like five feet. Dude, what a shot. Thank you, mate.
Good comeback. What an incredible finishing hole here. 184 yard, par three. Pin looks kind of front right there. Wind should be hurting, maybe off the left. We are two back. One hole left, this 36 hole tournament. I can stuff it. Zach maybe doesn't stuff it. You never root against people. Um, so I need to make a hole in one, hope Zach hits it to like five feet hits the bottom of the cup and comes out, makes par and uh, call it a draw. That's in the bunker. That was, I mean, that's a tough spot. And that was almost, I mean, I mean, unpredictable. You just can't hit it there. That's what it sums up to. Might need to break and settle. All right, not too bad. That is not how you want to end it right there. That was no good. Good putt. Thank you. It was a really good two putt. That's it. We're going to a quick chip off. Closest to one chip. Right. You pick. We'll just do a drop and play from there. Okay. Right, right here. It's going to be quick down the hill. Closest to one chip. Thought it would trundle a bit more. Well, congratulations, dude. I thought you just drained I thought I the made it. I know that wasn't how we wanted to play today. However, it was playing tough. Yesterday we had a lot of birdies. Today we had a lot of bogeys, even some doubles, but we had so much fun. And this course is so pure. We just need to hit it better and get the ball in the hole. But me and Scotty both finished six under yesterday, six over today, each of us. So level par for the tournament. I did win here in the chip off. As for me, Scotty, the very pure, Cascades, the Omni Homestead. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.